Good evening. Thanks for joining Newswatch on this election evening. I'm Kaylee Custer. And I'm Jesse Gwen. Let's get the results on some local races happening around our viewing area. Democratic U.S. Representative Tammy Duckworth has unseated Illinois Republican U.S. Senator Mark Kirk. The second term congresswoman from Hoffman Estates previously served as director of the Illinois Department of Veterans Affairs and in a leadership role with the federal VA. She also lost both of her legs in Iraq when her helicopter was hit by a rocket propelled grenade. When the General Assembly for the 110th Representative District, incumbent Reggie Phillips is challenging Democrat Dennis Malik, and with 44 of 44 precincts reporting, Reggie, Reggie Phillips has beaten Dennis Malik by almost 12,000 votes. In Coles County, three county board seats are up for grabs. We begin with District 2, where Paul Weck is challenging Travis Coffey. 100% of the votes are, are counted in this race, and Travis Coffey has won the seat. Moving to District 5, where Democrat Michelle King is facing off against Mark Degler. With all precincts reporting, Mark Degler wins the seat over Michelle King. And finally, we move to District 8 with Daniel Lawrence challenging Rich Shook. Checking the results in this one, Rick Shook wins this one with 934 votes. Coles County voters were also asked if they wanted to vote yes or no on a proposition to support school facilities. With 100% of precincts reporting, voters in Coles County say they do support the tax to support schools. Moving to Douglas County and another race for state's attorney, Democrat Bryant Hitchings is running against Kate Watson. And at this hour, Kate Watson is leading Hitchings by 1,682 votes. Cumberland County is also asking voters to select a new state's attorney. On the ballot, Democrat Todd Reardon is facing Republican Brian Robbins. And at this hour, Brian Robbins has won this race with just over 4,000 votes. Staying in Cumberland County to check on the race for coroner, the candidates in this one are Democrat Charles Layton and Republican Stephen Sherwood. Checking the results at this hour, Republican Stephen Sherwood has beaten Layton with 3,001 votes. Lots of campaign signs around Clark County for this race. Nancy Stepp is running against current circuit clerk Amy Shaw, and results in this race are final. Shaw has won re-election in this race. In the race for Edgar County Coroner, Republican Scott Barrett is facing off against independent Jack Hoffman. Scott Barrett looks to be the winner in this one, commanding nearly 5,000 votes. Like Coles County, Edgar County voters are also voting on a proposition to be used exclusively for school facilities. Results are similar to Coles, with residents again voting yes. With 22 precincts reporting, 3,266 people support the tax. After a day of rain, the sunshine returns. That's right. We now turn to Skywatch Local Forecaster Brian Hartman in the Weather Center. Good evening, Brian.